friends. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Happy Thursday. It's actually solo Thursday. Hello, meeples over peoples. How's it going? Happy legit solo Thursday. Yes. I, for some reason, have started doing live streams here on YouTube on Thursdays. I don't know what it is about Thursday, but it always just ends up being the best time for me to do live streams. Um, I do want to say I'm very sorry for being pretty much a half an hour late. Um, originally, I wanted to start this at 1, but um, Francis and I totally forgot that we still had Sleeping Gods set up on our table. So, unfortunately, we did have to quickly, um, like, save it because you have to save the, like, campaign game. So we ended up having to, like, take pictures, put things in specific bags to save um, Sleeping Gods and clean up the table so that I could set up parks here. Um, which I will be playing Parks with the Nightfall expansion. I do have some like Nightfall cards here and the normal cards that I do need to shuffle together. So I'll probably do that while I chat with you all. Um, how is everyone doing on this lovely Thursday? Hello, this game looks so nice. Yes, I believe it's Christopher. Parks is probably one of the most beautiful games that I have in my collection, I feel like it's a game that just does everything good. It is comforting. It is beautiful. It's a good gameplay. I really enjoy it. Um, I'm trying to like combine these two decks in the best way possible. So I'm kind of just going back and forth between the base game park cards and the nightfall cards. Afternoon, Zyphir, hello, welcome to the stream. Preston, hello, Tasha, um, Well Creations, hello, hello. Um, did you did you play that? I missed the stream. So yes, we ended up playing Sleeping Gods on Tuesday. We really enjoyed it, and we enjoyed it enough that we actually just kept it um, on our table and played it um, again last night for a few hours. So we got to few hour sessions in we got I think two different um, tomes I think that's what they're called we got a few tomes um, and we're about a third of the way through the first um, deck of event cards if you've never played sleeping gods before basically the campaign runs until you've gone through three decks of 18 cards um, so we have gone through 12 of the 18 cards in the first deck so we're doing pretty good we're doing pretty good um it's very difficult we definitely underestimated how difficult sleeping gods was um it is especially the combat the combat is very challenging and i feel like we might just not be working on our characters enough and adding enough to our characters so i think we need to focus on adding more, um, what are they called? Like attributes or like the ability cards to our characters. I think that'll probably help us quite a bit. Hello from Argentina, hello. Um, Annie VP, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you? How's it going? Um. Did you get your recipes on Sleeping Gods? I felt like that was the key to heal from combat. See, that's another thing that we haven't been doing a ton is we haven't been using our recipes. We also, um, I think we read in the back of the rule book because we like brought the rule book upstairs after we played last night. Um, and we read a few like tips. They have a few tips in the back of the rule book. And one of the tips was that uh, we need to use recipes and we need to go to the market to purchase better recipes that will allow us to heal better. So we definitely need to go to the market. We have quite a bit of money. I think we have like probably like 10 coins or something like that. So I'm very excited to dive back into that eventually. Um, it'll be very fun. Is it co-op or competitive? So Sleeping Gods is co-op. So you are working together and you're going on this adventure. It is very fun. We, we've really been enjoying it. Um, wow, Wayfarers, Tapestry, Flamecraft, and Earth look so good together. <laughs> Didn't know what the side of Flamecraft looked like. 
Yeah, I feel like this cube is looking pretty good. Also, can you guys see that cube over there? I have the whole collection. This is something that I've dreamt of for years. <clears throat> I have the whole collection of Red Raven games. I have Above and Below, Near and Far, Now or Never, and Sleeping Gods. It looks so good and I'm so happy about it. Hello, I'll buy the popcorn. How are you? How's it going? I believe, I forget, you said your name was Stephanie. I believe it is Stephanie. How are you today? How's your Thursday going? Okay, so I finally have finished shuffling these park cards and we're going to get right into this. This is my first time playing with the Nightfall expansion. Um, so there were a few like minor changes to the solo that they have in the back of the book here. I was originally going to try to play with the Ranger Ron, like fan made solo mode, but I didn't realize that you had to print out some like cards and stuff. There's like a full um, like AI deck that you have to print and cut and stuff. So I did not have time to do that today. So I will not be playing with the Ranger Ron, but I think my goal is to sometime in July um, do that. So I will be printing and cutting the Ranger Ron cards and playing with that variant eventually because I've heard that it is amazing. So yes. Um, do you think you could play above and below solo? I want to try that, but was deterred by the two playerness. So um, meeples over peoples, I'm pretty sure you're Emma, right? Please correct me if you're not Emma, but I'm pretty sure you're Emma. Um, I do believe that there is a solo variant that you, I don't think it comes with the game, but I believe there's a solo variant made by a fan on BGG. Um, so I definitely recommend trying it. I've been wanting to try it. I've also been wanting to try, um, near and far solo. Um, that one also has like a fan made, um, thingy on it. Okay. So we have our trail cards here. I'm adding one of the advanced trail cards. Yep. Emma. Okay. Perfect. I knew I remembered. I'm so good at remembering. I've played above and below solo. Just play two handed and don't keep score. That's actually a good way to do it. I keep on forgetting that you can play two handed. Um, that's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, just with like a lot of games, I feel like it's good to, instead of playing solo, play two handed. Cause then you're actually playing the multiplayer game. Cause I feel like a lot of the times with solo variants, they just like change the game completely. When you want the experience of playing the game, like you would multiplayer, but solo. Um, so you can just play two handed and, um, try two different, uh, strategies. I think it'd be fun. Yep. Stephanie doing good checking in on my lunch break. Well, hopefully you have a good lunch break. Hopefully you enjoy watching a little bit of me play parks, which I have not played parks in a while and I'm very excited. I love this game. Um, so we are making our first path here, which interesting path we have going on here. So that is our path there. And I am going to be the white player. Hopefully white isn't too difficult for you guys to see. I don't think it's too difficult. And then the AI is going to be the green player. And then we also do add the three tents to these three spots. Starting from the trail end, you go to the trail, um, like the one spot before the trail end, you put a tent there and then every other from there. So I don't know why my music just got super loud. I think that's better. I also have coffee. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Gorgeous coffee. Gorgeous. Mmm. Cold coffee. Delicious. <laughs> it's not delicious at all, actually. All right.
trying to please hold everyone there we go okay so in the solo variant um, I am going to flip over a few of these cards holy buffalo galore what the heck is this so basically with the solo variant, I'm going to be flipping over the gear cards in order to determine where the AI is going to go. So all of the gear cards either have um, one sun as their payment, two suns or three suns, and whatever one I flip over, that will determine where it's going to go and how many spaces the AI is going to move on the path. Um, I will also mention we do need to flip over a season. Aww. How perfect for the board game garden. I love that. This is season of flowers. Adorable. So cute. What the heck? So season of flowers means that parks cost one water less. Good to know. Too bad most of them don't require water, but it's fine. Um, and then for the weather pattern, it is going to be water, sun, water. So you skip the first trail spot. You go water, sun, water, water. So then this spot's a sun, this spot's a sun. All right. Um, also, I do want to quickly point out my, my adorable sweater. If you guys are interested in it, it is from a store called Carmico. I will have it down in the description box. Um, not right now, but I will put it down in the description box a little bit later. But Carmico is a clothing brand that is owned by my friend Aiden and his significant other. So definitely go check it out if you guys are interested. I absolutely love their pieces and they are wonderful, wonderful humans. So if you wanna go check that out, definitely recommend. Um, I just wanted to point it out because this is one of my favorite sweaters right now. Um, okay. So also in addition to flipping over the gear cards, we also do have the two AIs cards over here, which whenever an AI, so the green player goes on to any of these that have the water or the sun, they're going to pick up that corresponding thing and they're going to put it onto that card. And then whenever they fill up either all three of the suns or all three of the waters, that um, coordinating thing is going to happen. So for example, if I filled up all three suns here, this action here would happen. So this would be move the active ranger to the site before trail end. Okay, interesting. So I don't know why that would help them in any way or deter me, but I guess the active ranger. So it would be probably the one forward, Walter Gregory. You don't need to bark. Oh, you always have to make yourself known. Well, the stream, eh? Yeah? He's so funny. <laughs> um, cinnamon in coffee is super delicious. I do agree. I tried cinnamon in my regular brewed coffee because Walter Gregory, my goodness. <sighs> tried cinnamon in my regular brewed coffee because you mentioned it and it is amazing. I do agree. I literally cannot go a day without putting cinnamon in my coffee. I love it so much. My favorite way to drink it from now on. Yay, that makes me so happy. Um, I love cinnamon in my coffee creamer. Ooh, I get the cinnamon toast crunch coffee creamer. Is that a thing? I have never heard of that. I don't think we have that in Canada. Um, I get a cinnamon dolce latte from Starbucks, but for some reason didn't think that just adding cinnamon to my regular coffee would be as good, lol. Yes, I love the cinnamon dolce latte. That's pretty much my go-to every single time I go to Starbucks. Um, if it's a warm coffee, if it's a cold one, I have been enjoying, they have this new um, cinnamon, something cold brew. Ooh, it is so good. Cinnamon caramel cold, cold brew maybe? Do they ship outside of Canada? Yes, they do. I believe they ship worldwide. 
Um, definitely go check out their website. It's just carmico.com. Um, C-A-R-I-M-C-O. Car, no. Car, C-A-R-M-I-C-O. Jesus. Oh my goodness. I'll type it in. Car, me, go. Boop, pow. Carmico, go check them out. Okay. So let's get started with this. I will add that when you play with the Nightfall expansion, we do start with a um, wild. So I am going to start with a little bunny. A little bunny, adorable. <laughs> Why am I like this? And then I also do get to pick up two of these. These are going to be some um, end game scoring things that I'm going for, and I'm going to keep one of them. So two per three parks with mountains. So I'd get two victory points per three parks with mountains at the end of the game, or I would get two per three tokens in my supply at the end of the game. I think I might go with the two per three tokens in my supply. That way I don't have to go for particular parks. Um, I won't have to like try to find parks that specifically have mountains. I can just try to get as many tokens as possible, right? So I can just have as, a bunch of resources. I think the most that I could get though with this is eight victory points because I can only have a maximum of 12, I believe, at one time in front of me. Um, I believe it is 12 at one time. Let me quickly make sure I'm correct with that. Um, I don't know where it will say. <laughs> oh, my dogs. Are you two arguing again? Penny always likes to keep toys from uh, Walter. Yeah, I'm not sure what section of the rule book it would be in. Maybe it's something about collecting resources. Oh, token limit. Players can carry up to 12 tokens with them. If they have more than 12 at the end of their turn, they must discard down to 12. Okay, so that is correct. So the most that I could get with this gatherer um, objective card is eight, because I would get two per three tokens. Okay, so then this one will go to the bottom of the deck here. All right, so let's get started. It is my turn first, so I get to go first. And I think what I'm going to do is, excuse me, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna hop this one because I don't really wanna exchange any resources for wild because I don't have any resources. Um, oh, I also do have a starting canteen. Ooh, okay. So my starting canteen is that I can place a water on here and get two suns. So I think I might actually do that right away. Um, I'll put my thing like this. Hopefully you guys can see all those things. Okay, and then for this, I am going to skip going to one of these campsites. So whenever you land on a place that has a campsite, you can either decide to take your um, meeple, your hyper, hiker, hyper, <laughs> your hiker meeple, and go to one of the three campsites. You would take the campsite, place it here, and then place here, and then do that ability. Or you can decide to just ignore the campsite and do whatever is on that, uh, that trail spot. So I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna gain one water that is on top, my freaking hair. I am going to put this immediately into my canteen to get three suns. 
or two sons, sorry. And then I also additionally get two more water. There we go. So I got two and two. Awesome. Next up is the AI. Um, sadly, I have to get back to work. Happy gaming. Thank you so much for joining, Stephanie. Have a good rest of your day. I appreciate you. Um, I'm personally not so big of a fan of goal cards that focus uh, or force me to hang on to resources, but each person has their own strats. Yeah, I honestly, like, I've never tried this one before. And, like, thinking back, I don't really think I've ever done any objective cards that make me do that. Um, I guess there's some in, like, Flamecraft and some games, resource management games that I've done before. I don't really have a problem with it for the most part. Um, but I would rather have like a more open strategy than a, a closed one where I'm trying to get specific cards because then, you know, I might end up in a situation where I can't get any cards that have mountains, which would really suck. The nice thing is that at any time you can get a card from here instead of, um, what is it card called when you take a card? Reserve? You can reserve a card from here or you can always reserve a card from here. So I could kind of hope for those cards to come out, but okay. So I'm flipping this over. This is a one. So the AI, I'm gonna place it here and the AI is going to go one. That's really nice because they do not gain any of the weather meeples and I am still in front. So I could either go ahead and move this meeple forward or I could move this one here. Honestly, I'm probably just going to move this one. Um, do I want to go for a photography or picture taking strategy? I feel like picture taking is not the most amazing, but um, you don't place your meeple on the campsite, just the tent. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you so much. I totally forgot that. Oh my goodness, hello Henry! What the heck? Hi, welcome to the stream! Enjoy the trail, Jenna. I can't hang for long, but thanks for playing and streaming. Henry, you're so welcome. I love your game. This is my first time playing with the Nightfall expansion, and I'm very excited. Um, but I'm hoping... Henry, are you going to level up? I don't know if you're still here, but are you going to level up Retreat? If you are, I'm excited to meet you. Um, and I'm pretty sure you're going to Gen Con, so I would love to meet you then as well. But thanks for hopping in. That makes that makes me very happy. I appreciate it. Um, there is one of the arrowheads in Trailblazer that I have gone after that is about having personal resources at the end. Um, and something taken advantage of and it worked out well okay is trail oh i played trailblazers this past weekend on canada day and it was very fun uh, okay so i think i am going to maybe try to do some uh picture taken things here so i am going to grab this water or sorry not water sun and i am going to spend two resources but because I do have the camera in the solo variant, you do start off with the camera. Um, but because I have the camera, I only have to use one resource in order to take a picture. So I'm going to spend a water and we are going to take a picture of these lovely, oh, see, red walk, red rocks. <gasps> yep, I'll see you at level up amazing i'm so stoked and gen con amazing i'm i'm freaking stoked henry have a good rest of your day thanks again for hopping in and i'll see you next week okay so now it is the ai's turn i will say um as the ai does flip these i do have um the opportunity to purchase them as well um the only place right now i can purchase them is at the trail end but there will be eventually a tile that comes up that allows me to purchase um, gear as well. So the AI is going to go ahead and they are going to move twice. So um, whenever they are behind, they're always going to 
move their like ahead meeple. If they were in front of me, they would move their second meeple. Um, I do need to make sure, I'm pretty sure the AI can go on to spots with me. They can also go on to spots with themselves as well. Um, but I can't go on to a spot with a AI meeple or my own unless I use my campfire. Um, so I believe that is the case. So he's just gonna move up twice. Um, this does get taken off whenever an AI meeple moves past or lands on a campsite, they do get rid of this one. So this campsite is taken off. Um, have to hop off to drive home. I'll try to join again in a little bit. Thank you so much, Tasha. I appreciate it. Have a good drive home. And I will hopefully see you in a bit. Uh, okay, so I will say right now that I could, I could get this one at the end of the trail, or I could try to go for one of these two. Um, hmm, what do I want to do here? This one is very difficult to get, but I think it would be nice to get um, because it gives you five points which is really nice. Hmm. Okay. Um, I need to make sure I know all of these different campsite places. So this one here means discard a gear or a year card to gain either a gear or a year card. Okay, so I could like swap out either of those. That's kind of nice. Um, this one, obviously you get a canteen and then a water. And then this one here is turn in the token to gain five of the other token type. Oh, dang. So I could hand in one mountain to get five suns. That's pretty crazy. That's a nice one to have. Okay. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. Um... Honestly, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go here. And again, I think I'm going to ignore the tent for this round and I'm just gonna gather a bunch of resources because I think that's probably the best option right now. So I'm gonna grab this water and I'm also gonna gain two suns, one, two, all right. Oh, hello, Vortac. Welcome to the stream. How are you? How's it going? You're so nice. Um, I appreciate that designers are starting to use more AI in their solo designs, especially with games that are made to be multiplayer. Yes, I totally agree. I love where like you can play a game and you feel like you're playing against another player. Um, I'm not the hugest fan of solo variants where you're kind of just trying to beat your own high score. I still enjoy them, but I do prefer when games have that like fake player so it makes you feel like you're playing with another player. Um, so I do agree. Um, the Wildlife Expansion actually has you put out the pack slash gear trail tile out first round, which I found interesting because I love that trail tile coming out early. That's awesome. That's really nice too, because then it makes you, um, you know, able to get more gear tiles or gear cards earlier in the game, which gear cards can be really, really helpful. Um, so yeah, speaking of that, I think I might want to purchase this one eventually, especially because these two, I'm assuming the AI is most likely going to grab one of them, but it would be really nice to get this one because these seem to have a lot of suns. Agreed. Yes. Um, the resource trade may work out well late game for you, for your year card. Trade one resource for five. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, actually. Um, if this one doesn't change, um, I don't think it will until four. But again, this one is still the same. It's just with a tree to five waters. Um, so that's really nice to have. Um, yeah, I do agree, Merlin. Okay, so it is now the AI's turn. 
they are going to flip over this one. Ooh, so this gets covered up. They are going to move one again. They are going to take this tent and put it off to the side. All right, it is now my turn. I think I am going to, ooh. Okay, I think I'm okay with this. I'm gonna take my behind hiker. I'm gonna place him here. That's going to allow me to trade in one for a wild, which I think I'm gonna trade in. I'm gonna trade in one of my sons. Maybe not. I think I'm gonna trade in a water to get a wild, which let's see what animal we get. We got the fishy. All right. So those I can use either for two mountains or I could use them as trees eventually. Um, so that's what I did. Traded in one resource for a wild. And then it is now the AI's turn. My thing here is because we are, I believe because we are tied here, he is going to move his behind one. I will just double check. I agree, I prefer AI opponents over uh, beat your own score. Yeah, I do agree with that for sure. Okay, um, solo mode. So, um, if the hiker is ahead of both rangers on the trail, move the front ranger. If the hiker is ahead or tied with your front hiker, move the back ranger, okay. The one furthest from the end trail. All right, so that means that because we are tied here, our first rangers are tied, he is going to move his back ranger. So we are going to flip over this. Hold up, yeah, 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 I did my turn. I'm like, did I? Oh no, shoot, that's unfortunate. So this gets covered up, so I can't get this one, dang it. That makes me sad, but he is going to move his back ranger one, two, and that is that. It is back to my turn, which I am just going to move forward once. I'm gonna grab this water and I'm gonna grab this tree. Now, here is, here's the bad thing. I think I'm okay with this because if he gets a three, so if he flips over a gear that has a three, he's gonna go one, two, three. Whenever the AI gets to the end trail by using a three, he's gonna go to the bottom here, which I am okay with um, because he will take the right card, I believe. So he's going to take this one, which I think now that I have one tree and two wilds, I think I'm gonna go for this one because it gets me five victory points. Um, so the only way that he would be able to take this one is that if he got here within one step. So I think I'm okay with that, which I don't think he's going to get there within one step. Flip. Okay, we got another two. Oh no. So he's going to go one, two. He's going to take this final tent over here. He is going to take this sun and that's going to be added to his card, which is not great. And that means that on my turn, I am for sure going to go shoot. I think I'm okay with that. If I go to here, I get the first player marker and I get to reserve a card. I'm almost positive. Top slot. Discard the less, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I get both. Um, did the ranger land on your um, did the ranger land on you earlier or did you move to his space? I stepped out for a minute. Uh, he moved to my spot. 
If the ranger landed on you, that should not have happened as they will skip over you. Oh, shoot. Merlin, you're so much better at board games than I am. <laughs> okay, so what was that then? So we were both here. I was here. He was here. So then he would have moved over. I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, shoot. I was here. He was here. I will keep that in mind for the next time. Thank you so much for pointing that out, Merlin. Okay, so I do get both. So I am going to do that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to keep the first player marker and then I can reserve a park. So I am, just in case this guy actually moved one, if I flipped over a one here, he would go to this spot and he would be discarding this card, which I am going to reserve this card. And then this does flip over. If the AI takes one from here, it does not get replenished. Um, but if I take it, I believe it still gets replenished. So that is my turn. And then I'm hoping that, you know, once this guy here gets all the way back to here, I will be able to purchase this one. So this one is currently just reserved. So I flip that to the side and it is now the AI's turn. Bop. Oh, so he's going to go to the three. When he goes to the three, all of the three star gets taken back and shuffled back in. Yeah, don't worry about fixing it at this point. <laughs> it's a lost cause already. Yeah, moving forward, I'll, I'll make sure that I do that correctly. Y'all, I never said I was good at board games. I just enjoy them. And also, I've never been good at getting rules correct either. All right. So you shuffle back in all of the three cards from here and you put them back into the deck and then he will discard this card right here. So this one is gone from the game over to the side there and it is now my turn. So because the AI discarded this one, it does not um, get replenished. All right. So it's now my turn. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want to make sure that I can get this one. So I don't know if I should like skip over a ton here. Maybe I'm going to hop over him. I'm going to go here and I think I'm going to gain another canteen. Um, I'm pretty sure I just gain one randomly. There could possibly be that I, I get two and I pick one, but I could just be hoping for that because I want to be able to pick a good canteen. Draw a canteen, yep. Dang it, I was hoping I could pick two and keep one. Sometimes I wish I could do live better as people could catch things um, I miss in real time and I could fix them. I almost always make a mistake or two in my videos which don't uh, get caught until editing. Yes, that's the worst, Merlin. I, oh, it, is, it really sucks. That is one of my things that I hate is that I have started doing more like solo filmed playthroughs and there's been a few times that, or actually pretty much every single video that I've filmed so far of solo playthroughs, um, I've made some sort of mistake and it really sucks and you can't really fix it unless you go back and you just completely film over again, which you don't want to do. Um, so you end up just having to like put some little text in, which I hate doing because like I want to make sure I'm doing it the best as I possibly can. but. I don't know, we're all humans, we all make mistakes, it's all good. All right, so this is my, ooh, this is my uh, new canteen here. This allows me to exchange one resource for another resource up to two times, and it can't be exchanging four or two, um, or four or from wilds. 
Um, so that is my second canteen. Hopefully, let me see if I can or organize this a little bit better. So you guys can see my, my canteens here and then all of my resources in front of me here. All right, so it is now the AI's turn. I'm gonna flip this over. They're going to move three. So does that mean that they completely skip this spot, Merlin? Let me, let me quickly make sure I'm doing this correctly. Um, <clears throat> Rangers can land on site that are already occupied by a ranger, but if their movement caused them to land on a hiker, they skip to the next site. Okay, gotcha. That makes more sense. Okay, so they do go three, so it's one, two, three. But if they had a one, they would not go here. They would go to there. Okay, so one, two, three. They're gonna stop here. That is it, and it is my turn. I think because I still have my, ooh. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, so because I still have my fire, I'm gonna actually go here to the same spot as the ranger. That puts out my fire, but I do gain a tree. So I'm gonna gain that. And then the AI will go. They're gonna go three. So they, again, are going to go to here. And they would discard this one, but they're not going to, which is awesome, um, because there's not one there. So now i have to go because i'm the last hiker i do have to go right to the end and i i think i'm gonna go here i really would love to purchase gear but i i do need to purchase this one here so i'm gonna go here i'm going to purchase this card that i have on reserve so that's going to be two three trees and four suns we're gonna discard those. And I have my one park so far, which I will actually put to the side here so you guys can see the numbers that I have so far. All right, and then we're left with a measly four resources. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure how to even get a decent sized audience for live streams to begin with. Seems like it would take a long time to establish myself. Yeah, Merlin, live streaming is a really difficult thing. Um, I started live streaming back in 2020, at the beginning of 2020, and I was thankful that I had an audience already from YouTube, so it was really nice to have that nice tran transition but I definitely didn't have a lot of viewers. Um, it was probably like under 10 for a lot of it and it kind of gradually grew from there. Um, but yeah, it's really difficult to get into live streaming because it's hard to like talk and like keep this like live conversation going when there's no one else talking back to you. Um, so that's a really hard thing. And I honestly like, advice for it i would just say to keep consistent with it if you do get into it um try to stay consistent with it and try to advertise it on your youtube channel and stuff like that um and just stay consistent is the best thing to do um but again it's really hard for sure uh hello board game garden uh guess what i'm doing eating mcdonald's Best of Star Trek, you just made me want McDonald's. Now I might have to order McDonald's tonight. I've been really bad with ordering food recently, so you're not helping with my situation, Best of Star Trek. No, if they would just land on you, they'd skip to the next. Yeah, 
Um, did you get a Grimace shake from McDonald's? What is that? Haven't tried it yet. Is it good? LOL, I dig it. I'll try it. Oh, is that the stupid one that people are like drinking and then like dying afterwards? That is, <laughs> what if that's what it is, that's the funniest thing ever. But also very cringy. <laughs> I love McDonald's, best of Star Trek, same. Oh, a good Big Mac, but you know what is actually better? This might be controversial, but Wendy's, Wendy's is my love. I think I would prefer Wendy's over McDonald's at any time. I will say that because the Baconator, the Baconator, holy. And also the chicken, the, what are they called? Are they called chicken nuggets from Wendy's? Or are chicken nuggets like a, like a copyright for, for McDonald's? Do they have it trademarked? No, it's not trademarked, Jenna. Chicken nuggets from Wendy's are great because they have a like creamy honey mustard sauce. Ooh, it's so good. So freaking good. And now I want Wendy's. Great. All right, so the dogs are back down here. Uh, Wendy's around here are not good. I'm so sorry, best of Star Trek. Our Wendy's here are pretty good. Walter, no sir. Okay, so this gets filled. And then we do all of the rest of the things. So, at the end, what do I do, what do I do? At the end, we take off these things. I have a chance to take another picture if I'd like, because I have the camera. So I think I might actually do that. I'm gonna discard one water to take another picture. So I have two pictures now. Okay, take off our waters from our canteens. We take all of our hikers, place them back at the start. And then, I believe that is it. We do this, we take a new tile, we shuffle that in, uh, we don't have good Wendy's either, but I do go there sometimes to get their uh, lemonade, ooh, ate at McDonald's a few weeks ago and the meat smelled and tasted off and I've not been back since, ooh, oh no. That's not good. It had an ammonia smell to it, which signifies bad meat. Oh no. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, Merlin. That's not fun. All right. Shuffled all those. We'll do a little. Boom. All right, so this is our new trail. I got my sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. Whew. This is an interesting trail we have going on here. Okay. Interesting. So that is our trail. Um, we then get a new season card. It is now season of rain. This is add one water to the three current parks. Ooh, okay. One, two, and three. That goes here. And then we add weather, which is sun, water, sun, water, sun, water. Sun, water, sun, water, sun, water. I think I might have to open the other thing here. Uh, 
All right, so I believe that is everything for that. It is now back to me. I do flip over my fire again as well. So it is me first again and hmm. I really don't want the AI to get this. Hmm. Also, am I supposed to take these away? I am not 100% sure. When the season ends, refresh any empty park slots for their affected by the ranger in addition to the regular end of season actions. The game ends as normal at the end of the fourth season. Okay. So I actually don't think that these get discarded or anything. That's unfortunate. Ooh, I want this one. There's no possible way for me to buy gear until the end, which sucks. <gasps> we have another Wendy's lover. Yes. First and third campsite flip. Oh yes, because there's no two on here. This is one and four. This is two and three. Oh yes, and I have to add the camps. Camp goes here, here, and here. Um, pay two sons to recycle. To recycle of gear, turn in two sons to discard available gear cards, then take a gear card. <gasps> So would that mean that I would just take the top one off of each of them? Or what does that mean when it comes to the solo variant? Or would I discard all of these? I don't know. Where is the, here it is. Jenna, <laughs> kazoon tight. <laughs> I'm not not making that mistake again. Um. Oh, here we go. Uh. Turn in two. Sun to discard the three available gear cards to the bottom of the deck. Draw and place three new cards onto the board. The player may take one gear card available for free, including the top card off of the gear deck. Okay, so I'm assuming that would mean that I, yeah, it is a weird one for solo for sure. And I don't know if it like really explains it anywhere in solo. If only Henry was still here. Henry, can you please help me? <laughs> I am assuming I'm assuming I would discard all of these. But then again, me putting out three new ones, I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna discard these and put out three new ones. And then those are the ones that I'm gonna have to choose from. I think that might be what I do. I think I'm gonna make my own rules there. Um, or I guess I could just take the top ones off of each of these. But then that wouldn't really make any difference. It's just that all of these would then get shuffled back into here. Um, so maybe I just take the top three. Shuffle those back into here. I guess technically I was supposed to discard them, but it's fine. I'm not a stickler for rules. And then... I guess I haven't even moved my person yet, have I? I guess we should probably do that. I'm going here. <laughs> I'm gonna grab, um, nope, I'm not gonna grab the water. I'm gonna take the tent 
and I'm gonna go here. There we go. Um, when you do the campsite action, you do not get the, the weather here, unfortunately. Um, so, I'm gonna spend two suns, which is going to be a sun and a wild, and we are gonna put out three new. One, nice. Two, and three. And then I can take one of these for free, which let's do, I'm thinking either the park pass or the journal. Park pass allows me to, when I visit a park, you may visit another one, which would be nice, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to utilize that a ton. This one allows me to pay one less tree, which I feel like that's probably the best option right now. There we go. I'm going to do the, the journal. Yeah, true, true Merlin, but I, I'm not concerned. All right. So, <clears throat> oh yeah. Cause this is a, this is a one. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just keep that there. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. Okay. So I'm going to do the AI's turn now. They're going to flip this over. Boom. This is going to go to here and they are going to move two, which was probably the worst option, but it's fine. <laughs> this is going to go here. So if they get one more sun, uh, something bad's gonna happen. Move the active ranger to the site before trail end. Oh, so if that happens, the active ranger. So would that be the one that he just moved? It would move to the trail end. So I guess I would just like make the round go faster, I guess. Okay, gotcha. Hi, friendly greetings from France. Hello. Hello, Roberto. Welcome to the stream. Good continuation, and I wish and I wish you all the success that you deserve, pretty young lady. Aw, thank you. I appreciate that. It's very nice of you to say. Okay, so the AI moved twice and he took the sun. Um, it is now my turn. I think so the AI is probably gonna get this water as well which is fine I don't care um, I'm gonna go one I'm gonna grab this Sun as well as a mountain okay the AI will go they're going to move twice again so they're gonna go one and then because they would land on me they're gonna go two to here he's gonna discard the tent and I believe he also does gain this as well. Um, let me quickly check. I believe he does get both. If a ranger ever lands on a site with weather and a tent, then the player chooses if the ranger collects the weather or removes the tent. Okay, so I can choose. Oh. I think I'm going to choose that he takes the tent because I don't really need either of those. So I think I'm good with that. He's gonna take the tent. All right, next up, do I want, I think I'm gonna go here where Ranger is. I'm gonna flip over my um, fire. I'm gonna grab water and two additional waters. And I think I'm actually going to place one here to gain two suns. And I'm going to place one here to exchange a sun for a tree. And I 
almost was like, and a water for a sun. <laughs> Jenna, you just got rid of a sun. Um, let's do a water for a mountain. Let's do that. Okay. So now it's the AI's turn. <laughs> Big, huge breath in. I don't know why I'm so stressed about parks. Ah, have you ever rubbed a game board channel the wrong way? I <laughs> Pastor Star Trek, you've never rubbed me the wrong way. I believe only the back ranger clears the tent. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold up. Um, when a ranger that is further back on the trail moves and lands on or passes over a site with the with the camp, they place their token onto that their area. No longer be used this season. Oh, if the back ranger ever lands on a site with weather. Shoot! So that means that. This was here, I was here. So I think I'm just one less water. Um, so he took a water, that places it here. So he actually took a water, not the tent. And then I decided to go here. I just gained two water. I had both of those. I did my thing here. I think that's fine, okay. So now it's the AI's turn. Oh no. I made Tom Vassal really mad once live. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so the AI is going to move two. So they're gonna move one, two. Again, he's gonna gain this water, which is not great. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Um, okay, how do I want to do this? I can get this one. I think I'm okay with him getting whatever he gets, it's fine. I'm gonna move one. I'm gonna grab this sun and a tree. Like so. The AI is gonna go. He's going to move one. So he's gonna go here. Here comes the dogs. <laughs> so he's gonna go here. He's actually going to get the first player marker. Um, I don't really know. I guess we can put it up here where the AI stuff is. Um, he's going to get the first player marker, so he's going to go first the next round. And he is going to discard this card here. I believe he does get this. I could be wrong. But I believe if he gets something, it's going to go there. Even if it's not like weather associated. So he did fill up this here. So that is three waters. This is discard a reserved park and all of your wilds. Well, joke's on you, AI. I don't have either of those, so that gets discarded. And I believe all three of these get discarded. I'm not sure if these ones do. Um, I don't think they do. Return the three matching tokens that trigger the event to the supply. Any other tokens on the tracker should remain. Okay. So these ones get discarded. The waters um, and then a new card gets flipped over. Okay, so I'm fine with this one. 
This one is if the three suns here get full, the ranger is going to gain the first player marker, which he already has the first player marker, so that's fine. Um, so that is everything for the AI's turn. He reserved a park. Or no, he didn't reserve a park. He just discarded this one, which is fine with me. Because I am going to go here. Actually, I think I'm just going to stay here for now. I'm going to move this guy forward. Hmm. So I still have the camera. Does the AI ever get the camera? Ah, yes. It's whenever the AI goes here, which he never went here, so I still have the camera. I'm going to go here. I'm going to gain this water. Um, and then I'm going to spend one... I think I'll just spend a sun. Maybe not. I'm going to spend the water that I just gained to take another picture. So I now have three pictures. And that is everything for my turn. It is now the AI's turn. They're going to move two. One, two. All right. Um, I'm trying to plan this out well. I think I might actually get another one of these objective cards, possibly. I told him thanks for making my sold out game more valuable and he, did he scream? Or he steamed? <laughs> what game is that? Uh, it wasn't actually sold out though. It was Night Cage, terrible game, might be good solo. I lent it to a coworker and they didn't return it and got fired. What? Oh no. Got fired for other reasons. <laughs> Not because they stole your game. <laughs> okay, so it is now my turn. What do I want to do here? I have three sons, so I could go here and get a new objective or another objective. I believe that that's what that spot is. Campsites uh, feature exciting actions and often change seasoning. Turn in three sun to draw two year cards from the deck and then discard one uh, from your hand to the bottom of the deck, return card does not need. The return card does not need to be one you drew during this action. For one to three players, one slot for a tent is available here. In four plus games, the back of the board has two slots. Okay, so I do think that if I decide to do this, which I think I'm going to move this one forward to here, I am going to take the tent and I'm going to place it here. That means that I can spend three suns. I'm going to pick up two objective cards and pick one. Ooh. One per two suns on gear costs or one per set of each uh, tree, mountain, sun, water on parks. That's kind of fun, but this one's also called Planner, which I love that. Do I think that I'm going to get more gear cards or do I think I'm going to get more of these, which I think I'm going to get more of these. So I'm going to discard the Planner. I'm going to keep the Traveler, which means I need more um, park cards for sure with different resources on them. All right, so that is my turn. It is now the AI. They're gonna move two, one, two. Um, I think I am going to 
go here. I'm going to visit a park and I am going to visit this park right here. I am going to gain a water and then this here is two trees in a mountain. I do have my journal, so this will cost one less tree. So it's just going to be one tree, one mountain. And that's gonna go here. Like so. Okay. Because I did that, this does get replenished. Holy poop. That's quite the card. This one doesn't get replenished because the AI did discard that one. So that stays the way it is. Um, I'm going to flip this over. Boom. The AI is going to move three. They're going to go one, two, three to here. They are going to take the tent and that is their turn. I think I can actually afford to just move to here. My campfire is already out, so I can move here. Um, yeah, because I'm fine with wherever the AI goes. I don't really mind. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to gain a second tree. And then the AI will go. Chuck, I need a little help, please. What do you need help with? Boom, the AI is gonna go three. So they are actually gonna go down to here and they are going to discard this card right here. All right, so then this would be the only card that I could reserve. I can't afford it yet, but I could grab this one because this has water I already have suns, trees, and mountains, but I don't have water on any of my um, parks yet. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna reserve this park. I do believe I get this water, even if I reserve it. I'm just gonna say I am, cause you know, solo game. <laughs> Hi Jenna, so happy I caught the stream. Um, Ladycroft, hello. I just got Parks, haven't played it yet, but hope to bring it to the table um, on the weekend. Very nice. I'm so happy that you get to play this. It is a wonderful, wonderful game. Um, I will also mention that I forgot all of these three cards. Well, there's technically a one there, but all of the three cards, whenever the AI goes to this one here, they do reshuffle all of the threes into the deck here. So we're gonna reshuffle all of those. Kim, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you? How's it going? All right. And then that is the end of the second season. We are halfway through. So, let's go back down here. Three new park cards get revealed. One, two, and three. Ooh, wow, gorgeous. Okay, all of the camps get taken away. I still have the um, camera, so I can actually decide if I want to take another picture if I'd like. I, I need these two waters. I need these two. I think I'm gonna skip taking a picture for now just because when I do visit this park here, I will have an instant action to take another picture. So I think I'm going to, maybe it would be worth it for me to just use one of these. Not the two waters, but at least maybe like a tree. I'll use a tree, I'll take another picture, just because I feel like pictures are good to have. So that's fine. Um, so that's that. We take off the water from our canteens. All right. And then we take our hikers back over to the trail start. And then I'm gonna make my new trail. We're gonna take all these trail pieces back. We're gonna add the third advanced trail piece. 
Um, hi, Jenna. I love this game with the expansion. Daniel, hello. How are you? How's it going? I also do love this with the expansion. Honestly, I haven't really used the camps a lot. Um, this one does need to flip back over for season three. This one needs to get flipped over as well. And then this one's good. So those are our new camps there. Um, Daniel, have you tried the um, wildlife expansion? Let me know if you think it's just as like needed as the Nightfall expansion. I don't think the Nightfall expansion's needed, but it's really good. Let me know if you think the same about the wildlife expansion. Have you been to any American national parks? I unfortunately have not. Uh, I have not done a lot of um, traveling in my life, which is like not great, but you know, could never really afford it for the most part. So I'm hoping to do some more traveling in the future, but we will see. Um, I'm great. How are you, Jenna? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm a little bit stressed trying to get some stuff done before next week because I am leaving on uh, Thursday to go to Level Up Retreat, but I'm getting some stuff done. We're getting stuff done. We're good. I'm good. <laughs> I just want to be like prepared and stuff for when I'm gone. Um, can't complain about being on vacation. We went yesterday to some friend's house. We haven't visited for a while and we played Mystic Veil vale for the first time and got them to play Paleo. Very nice. That sounds fantastic. Hi Jenna, I'm so excited for this game. I found your channel a few weeks ago and I love every video of, uh, of you. I learned already so much about solo board gaming. Uh, Char Charlotta? I love your name. Um, that is an amazing name. If that's actually your name, let me know because that's gorgeous. But thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate that. And I'm so happy that you found my channel not too long ago. And I was able to introduce you and be able to teach you more about solo gaming. It is wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. More games arrived today. I saw your last month's game or games. Uh, Woo, that's a lot of new games. Any of them make your top 10. Ooh, I don't know if any of them were gonna make my top 10. Um, my top three were Wizards of the Grimoire, um, Abyss, as well as Cryo. I really enjoyed all three of them, um, but I don't think any of them will be like top 10 material. Um, you have to check out Grand Canyon at least once. Yes, I do want to go to the Grand Canyon for sure. I haven't tried wildlife, but I hear it's not as needed at all. Okay, good to know. I've considered getting it just to have like more stuff, but wildlife is a good expansion, improves the game, but I haven't played with Nightfall yet, so I can't compare the two. Okay, good to know, Ryan. Thank you. Nightfall is practically essential to me as it raises the gameplay and strategy to make a much stronger game. Wildlife is much less necessary in my opinion. It does add some fun stuff, but nothing game changing. Okay, good to know. Thank you so much, Merlin. Um, I like pretty much everything this one adds. Okay. Um, yes, that's my real name. It's Italian for Charlotte. I love that. Well, thank you so much for joining. Hopefully you enjoy watching me play Parks. I am halfway through, so we're moving into the third of four seasons of Parks. Um, every season, our trail is getting longer. Um, I think there's a few other things I need to do before we get started. Um, I did that. We're gonna get a new season card. The season is the Season of Reefs. Ooh. Gain one water if you gain any tree on a turn. Well, that's good. That's a good one. I feel like that'll be very helpful. Um, all right. And then I need to add the uh, weather here. So we're going to do water, water, sun, water, water, sun. Water, water, sun, water, water, sun. 
water. Sun here, sun here. And then we add the three camps to here, here, and here. And I believe we are ready to go, which the AI does have the first player marker. So the AI is going to be going first. We're going to flip this over. The AI is going to move once to here, which is great. And then I am going to hop right over them to this one. I'm going to grab a water and a mountain. All right. The AI is going to move two. They're going to move one, two to here. They are going to grab this water here, which is not great. Not great. Um, hmm. So my goal, what was, oh, it's this one. This is the new one, which really sucks. The last one that we're adding is the one that I wanted the earliest, which is that you can stop on a spot here and visit a park, which is really nice, or gain gear. Because those two actions you can typically only do at the trail end. So was really hoping for that one a little bit earlier, but it's fine. It is fine. I gotta say recently, the batches of new games that I've played that were new from my pile of unplayed games um, that really stood out are uh, now some of my faves, Earth Obsession and The Great Wall. Ooh, yeah, all three of those. Well, I haven't played The Great Wall, but I've heard great things, but Earth and Obsession are very good and are probably both in my top 20 or 30, I would say. Um, really enjoy those ones. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Oh, I also do flip over my fire again. Um, do I want to go... here. So this would be that I could get this and then I could spend one to get the resources off of another camp that a player is on. So I could go and get two waters. I think that's worth it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to spend one water to duplicate what the AI is on. So I'm going to get two waters and I'm going to use these two waters. I'm going to use one here to gain two suns. And do I want to use this water to exchange? Not really. I'm going to keep this water. So those are going to be my resources there. All right. The AI's turn. They're gonna move two. They're gonna go one, two to here. They're gonna pick up this water. Put that there. Discard all your mountains. Oh no. We cannot allow the AI to get any more water. We cannot allow it. Oh no. So I think if the AI is in front, their back one is going to move. So I think, I think I'm just going to move this one <clears throat> and I'm going to go here and I'm going to grab a mountain, but we must not allow the AI to get water. So they are going to move now because their front ranger is in front of mine. They're going to move their second one. So they're going to move three. He's going to go one, two, three to here. We're good. We're good. I am now going to I guess I'll move here. I'm really hoping they don't get a three. If they get a three, it'll be one, two, three. They'll get another water and then all of my mountains will be discarded, which would not be great. Um, but I am going to gain a water and two suns. 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I guess I'll just discard one. Sun. Because I can only have twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Oh god, I'm nervous. I am nervous. Oh no! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, I hate this. Shoot! No! So this AI is gonna go one, two, three. I think he will never get the tent. He's always gonna take the weather. No! <laughs> That sucks so much. Discard all of your mountains. Dang it. The new one's getting flipped over. Ugh. Three mountains discarded. That sucks. I think that's okay though. We'll survive. We'll survive. Uh, so thank you for recommending Obsession. Ah, no problem. I am already enjoying it. Um, it's also super great solo. Yes, I love the Obsession solo mode. It's like the easiest solo mode out there. I got all the expansions that I could, um, save from, uh, except for some promo cards. I don't know what that means. Save from promo cards and useful box. Really enjoying it. I'm assuming that's supposed to mean except for? Let me know what that means. I think it might just be a, a typo. Um, it's, it's me re-watching all the Downton Abbey and my husband is coming along uh, for the ride. We were both surprised how much he got into it. Yeah, Francis actually really enjoyed Obsession as well. There's something about like the gameplay I feel like people enjoy and you don't necessarily have to enjoy the theme in order for that. Um, I was afraid of that, probably would have, yeah, you would have had to run to the end of the park or end of the trail to buy the park, yeah. I could have done that, but I think it's fine. Like I was originally wanting to get this one here, but I really do have to purchase this one first anyways. Well, you don't have to, but I would want to. Um, what a time to jump back in, Tasha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a little bit unfortunate, but we're fine. We are fine. We're doing great. Everything's okay. Everything is awesome. Okay, so it is my turn now. What do I want to do? Well, I don't want him to get another sun, so I think I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna gain a sun and a tree. And then when I gain a tree this round, I also do gain a water. I believe I do have exactly 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so we're good. And I think that's it for my turn. The AI is gonna go. Three, because they're in front, they are gonna move their second one here. They're gonna go one, two, three. That means that they're getting rid of both of these tents because it's the back one, the back hiker or back ranger. And then I think I am going to move No, I'm gonna move this one. I'm gonna go here. Is that what I wanna do? <gasps> Ooh, do I have enough for that? I don't, but I could. I know what I have to do. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. That allows me to get this. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve this one which this is only two but it requires four huh that's quite a bit but it also allows me to go to another park as an instant action so I'm gonna reserve that one so I have two reserved parks here just so that the AI doesn't get that one and then hopefully I'll be able to have enough here to do what I want to do which I think I should if I do something in particular. Okay, so the AI is now next. I'm gonna flip this over. They're gonna move three. I think their last one moves because they are ahead of me in both regards. So one, two, three to here. Um, this does get replenished. They are going to reshuffle in all of their three cards. <laughs> yes, that was meant to mean except for the promo cards and the useful box. Okay, I assume that was what it was. Um, You get more useful men meeps from the upstairs downstairs expansion. Okay, cool. Hello, it's been a bit. Hope you remember me. Deathcore? Hello, Deathcore. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember you, but I love your username. How's it going? How are you today? I think you did say. You can almost afford that new card. Oh, dang, yeah, that one's pretty good. So do I do that? Do I just buy this new card and then leave my two reserved cards for later? Is that what I do? I only need one more tree, so I could do that. Maybe I do that, we'll see. Okay, so I shuffled the three back in here the AI is going to take this one here and discard that one. All right, it is now my turn. My only thing is if the AI flips over a two, they're gonna go to the middle here and that means that they would take this one. I'm all the way back here, which kind of sucks. So I only have one more action that I can perform. So it's either my two options here are go to the tree, get a tree and a water, or I get, I guess that's probably the only option really. I'll go here. I'm gonna get a tree and a water. Um, I think I am going to use this water here to exchange some stuff. I will also say that I do have more than 12, so I am gonna have to discard something, which I will just discard a sun. And I'm gonna exchange two things. I'm gonna exchange a sun for a mountain. And I guess I'll change another sun for another mountain. Bam. Okay. Oh, I don't, I didn't need the tree. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I could just rush to the end. Yeah, because I have this one here, which parks cost one less tree. Hold up here. Let's, let's rewind, rewind. Rewind, give me back this. Take these two back. So I don't need, I don't need the tree in the water. I can just rush to the end um, and go here. Like so. All right. Merlin, you're a lifesaver. I didn't need the tree, I already have it, okay. So I am going to purchase this card right here. This is gonna cost me two trees 
and one, two, three, four water. That's gonna get added here. All right. Um, this does get replenished here. And then the AI is going to go to three. So they weren't gonna do it, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And then this is gonna get reshuffled again. <laughs> Good job, Jenna. Good job throwing everything everywhere. I missed it at first too. Um, gear cards can be easy to forget about. Oh yeah, for sure. And like, I only have one gear card. So like, can you imagine if you took like a full on gear strategy and had like four gear cards? That'd be very difficult to remember. Um, and then the AI would discard from here, but there is not one there. So they do not do anything. Boom. Okay. Technically this was taken off as well. Um, all right. So that is everything for that round. I do still have the camera, so I could discard a sun if I wanted to, but it would be nice to have these for the wilds. So I think I'm just going to keep these. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. We get rid of the water from our canteens. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna discard. Screw it, we're taking another picture. I'll get enough resources. All right. Um, did that, all of these go back to the trail start. Okay, we take back all of our trail pieces. We add in the last one. We're gonna shuffle all these up. I don't go after much gear just because you typically have to skip an opportunity to visit a park and those opportunities are rather limited. Uh, yeah, and a primary resource of, the, of points. Yeah, for sure. Take those pictures, yes. We are doing a picture strategy, y'all. We've taken lots of pictures so far. Okay, so new trail. Whoa, oh, okay. That's a pretty decent place for that additional park tile to go. Okay, so these do have to get moved over a little bit. Actually, I might be able to push these guys over slightly. All of these can be moved. And that goes at the end. Okay, so we got a nice long trail here. Super long trail, holy. Uh, this gets replenished. Okay. new season card we have the season of stone gain one sun if you gain any mountain on a turn okay and then we also do the weather so we are going to place water sun sun so water sun sun water sun sun water last one here and then we add our camps back to this part this spot in this spot um, this one gets flipped to the four and this one gets flipped to the four okay and I got the first player marker back from the AI so it is my turn first and I think I definitely need more water and I also need a mountain. So just for the two reservation or reserved cards that I have here. So I'm gonna move to here. I'm gonna grab this water and two more water. 
I don't think I'm going to use my canteen, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Actually, I could do this. Place the water on this canteen, and then I could exchange a sun for a mountain. Just so that I have the mountain. I have the three water in the mountain that I need for these. Um, I just need two more resources of any type. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to do that, but we will figure it out. Not sure if the bottom corner may be a better place for your video of yourself in the future so that it doesn't block space you might need uh, for putting cards. Very true, very true. I definitely could put it down in the corner. I think that would probably be a better spot for it. My thing is that I didn't want to cover up like the flower uh, illustrations, but we'll see. I could also very well like have everything moved up slightly, um, but I think everything's pretty good placement right now. Um, okay, so it is now the AI's turn. They're going to go three. Uh-oh. They're going to go one, two, three. This means that they do activate this ability here, which is keep the next um, of these cards face down until it is activated. Okay, so that's not horrible. Basically, it's just making it so if one of these do get covered or filled, I'm not going to know what happens until it actually happens. So... That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, so now it is my turn. Um, my issue here is that I don't have enough for this here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my campfire. I'm gonna go to the same spot as myself here. I'm going to put out my campfire in order to get another two water just so that I have enough for this card here. Um, so then it's now the AI's turn. They're gonna go one, which is fine. Actually, oh, they are not in the lead, so they're gonna actually move this one one, which is actually better. Okay, um, so that means I'm gonna move to here. I'm gonna gain this sun, and I'm going to do the parks action. So, hello Brandon, aka Bapter. Oh, you're B Apter. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> I just like calling you Bapter. Hello Bapter. Good afternoon from Philadelphia. Hope everyone's having a great week. Hopefully you're having a great week too. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do this one first, which is I need a mountain, water, and two randos and then i'm going to get this park but i also do get to visit a second park so then that's going to allow me to do this one here which is two water and three of any so i'm going to do hmm i'm going to do two suns or no two suns and a water Three suns? I'll do three suns. I guess it doesn't matter because I'm also going to spend a water. This is not good, you know? Because originally I took this one here, which is two points for each uh, thing I have at the end. I don't know how many things I'm going to have at the end. We will see. Um, but. And I believe this instant thing is that I do have to pay for it. Oh, shoot. It's not even, oh no, that sucks. Oh, okay, that's fine though, because I'm not gonna lose this, this resource. Basically, this is that I gain the camera. It's not that I take a picture, I gain the camera, which I already have, so doesn't even matter, but it's fine. I still get, that park. I have quite a bit of points here, so that's good. Everything is fine now, just that some 
of these games are already hard to fit everything into the shot without covering space as it is. Uh, one of the biggest struggles in recording games. Oh yeah, for sure. My thing is that I did recently get a new tripod, which is really nice. Um, and it allows me to really show a lot of the table. Right now, this is like extremely zoomed in. I could zoom this out quite a bit, but obviously you guys can't see that very well. So that's how we do. Um, I will say, there's a little bit of empty space up here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that. And that, there we go. All right, even though we're like at the end of the stream. Um, <laughs> connecting the dots like a boss, Ayo, we sure are. Okay, it is now the AI's turn. Let's see what they do. They're going to move one. They would not move here, so they are gonna move here. Um, because it's the first hiker, they're just gonna take the water Place that there. Okay. Hmm. Should I maybe discard a gear or a year card to gain either a gear or a year card? Should I maybe discard this uh, gatherer and see if I could get something else that would be better for me? could do that but then if it's nothing good then it's kind of a waste of a turn I don't know if that would be the best option hmm I don't know um I just got a new extender for my tripod which i am hoping will help me to do overhead shots uh better now have not tried it yet i am very excited for you to try that merlin i feel like that'll that'll help a lot i was going to do some playthrough videos uh this week but have been a little sick and not feeling up to it this week so i have not tried the new setup oh i'm so sorry merlin hopefully you feel better um okay I need to figure out what I want to do here. I don't really want to land. Oh, actually I can't. Did I just not flip this over? Have I used my camp yet? I do believe I did actually. I already used my camp because I think I landed on the same spot as my person. So. Hmm, I guess this is my only option, really. Go here. Gain a sun. Do I take another picture? Or do I gain a canteen? I don't know what I want to do. I think I'll just gain a canteen. See if there's anything that gets me something good. Oh, of course. The same one that I already have. Love that for me. I have two of the same canteen. All right. The AI will go now. Um, Three. So they're gonna go one, two, three. Great. They took my water. No. All right. Um.
I guess I could utilize this if I wanted to. Uh, the only thing is I don't have a tree. Am I able to use a wild? I'm assuming I could. I'm going to assume that I could use a wild as this tree. So, or actually, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna gain this sun and this tree. Okay, so the AI will go, boop. So they are in the lead. So they are going to move their second one. So they're gonna go one, two, three. Okay, I am going to move my second one here. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna exchange one tree for one, two, three, four, five waters. And then I'm gonna use one water to exchange for two suns for my canteen. All right. We suddenly have lots of resources. Amazing. <laughs> Weakest canteen in the game, I agree. And I have two of them, it's the worst. Okay, so the AI is in the lead, so they're going to move their second one again. So the second one's gonna move one, two. This is great, this is really great. Um. So it, I guess I can't move anywhere aside from here. So I'm gonna move here. I am going to take this sun. And I guess I can use, spend a water to duplicate one of these three, which I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna discard this to gain Two suns. Boom. Look at me go. I'm not even really concerned with like other other parks. I think I'm just gonna we'll see because I don't think I can afford any of these. I actually could afford this one. but that would be the same as just keeping the resources for this card. So we'll see what happens. Um, okay. So the AI will go. They're gonna move three. So one, two, three to the end. They're gonna go here. They are going to shuffle all of their threes back in here and they're gonna discard this park. is discarded. Um, you all right, Penny? <laughs> you okay? Okay. So I do know that if you have the first player marker at the end of the game, you get victory points. So I think I'm going to go here. I think I am going to <clears throat> reserve this card. I'm losing my voice. I'm gonna reserve, reserve this card. Do I have my water? I do. Aw, just quickly popped in for my Jenna fix. Thank you so much, Seth. I appreciate you. You came in at a great time with me losing my voice. <clears throat> Typical Jenna. We love to see it. It's always my coffee. That's the culprit. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Okay, so that was my turn. It is now the AI's turn. I'm hoping this is a one so that they'll move to here. Also, I'm pretty sure this was supposed to get taken away. I'm hoping they move here so then that'll give me one more turn to get like one resource. Uh, of course not. Okay. So they're gonna move three. So they're gonna go here. They're again gonna shuffle in this three card, which doesn't even make a difference because it doesn't even matter. All right, so that means that I just have to go straight to here. Um, like, I guess I could just do this. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, and then I can purchase this one for two suns. One, two. And then this will get added to the parks that I've visited. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I do have nine at the end here, which is good. Um, you may want to visit that park since you will not have three resources anyways. Yeah, very true. Uh, park card should replenish in spot one. Yes, it should. Because I took that one. All right. So that is the end of the game. We are now going to go into some end game scoring, which we are going to add up all of these, which I have 5, 10, 15, 20. I have 20 points for my park cards because I have two fives, two threes, and two twos. So I have 20 for my park cards. I have these two here, which I believe I'm gonna get six points for this, because it's two per three tokens, so I have two, four, six. So I have 26, and then a set of these. Uh, I do think I only have two mountains, so the most I'm gonna get is two victory points. So two victory points for this one, six for this one, so I have 28. And then I have pictures, 28 plus 5, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And then I have the first player marker, which is one victory point. So I have 34 victory points. I believe that is everything. Okay, so then... Because I was playing with the Nightfall expansion, they do have a new solo chart at the back here. <gasps> Ooh, no freaking way. I was literally one point away from a seasoned, or no, from like the highest. I was at 34. So if you get a score of 30 to 34, you're a seasoned hiker now. But if I was to get 35 and above, that's the highest that you can get. Uh, and that would have been, you made memories that'll last a lifetime. Dang it. If only I took one more picture. If only I didn't lose my mountains. That makes me so sad. Uh, man. Even if I had, yeah, if I just had one more resource, I could have spent that resource to get another picture and that would have gotten me one more victory point. Dang it. I demand a recount. Great game, thank you so much, uh, Carlota. Freaking love your name, it's gorgeous. I demand a recount. Let me quickly recount this. We got five. We got 10, we got 15, we got 20. 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold up, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 
It's 34. 100%. No! That makes me so sad. At least I, I did pretty good. I did pretty good. Okay, friends. That is going to be everything for today's stream. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And hopefully everyone is pumped about playing parks all month um, of July. If you guys do not know, this is the monthly solo focus for the board game garden for the month of July. So if you guys want to take part in playing parks and like just having a focus of a solo game for the month of July, then you guys can go and check out the Discord. I always have it linked down below in my description box. It's not in this description box yet, I don't think. Actually, it is. So if you guys go down in the description box, there is a link to the Discord. And in the Discord, we have a channel called the Board Game Garden Monthly Challenge. And we just chat in there. I try, but I haven't really been very good with chatting the last few months because I've been busy. But I'm gonna try my hardest to chat in there with you guys. And everyone in there chats about their experiences with the solo challenge for the month. So if you guys want to join in and focus on parks for the month of July, then come on down to the Discord and we'd love to have you. Anyways, that's everything for today, friends. Thank you all so much for joining. Um, Merlin, thank you so much for your help. All month long, I am freaking pumped. Um, I'm very excited to, there's a possibility that I might purchase the wildlife expansion just so I can experience it. Um, we will see. But I also do, like I said at the beginning of this stream, I want to um, look into getting the Ranger Ron AI and like printing and cutting those out because it sounds a lot like a lot of fun. I'm bummed the solo isn't on BGA. Tasha, I know. I looked the other day and I really thought that it was on BGA, but it's not, which makes me so sad. I don't know why they haven't added the solo parks to BGA, but I do think they should eventually. Hopefully they will. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to play parks a lot for the rest of the month. Hi, Jenna. Did I join too late? Oh no, <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> yes, you did. I just finished up. I got a score of 34, which is pretty good. I am apparently a seasoned hiker, which is awesome. Um, but it was a lot of fun last month playing Arc Nova. And then this month we are playing parks. So Yes. Thank you for the company. It was fun. Thank you so much for joining, Annie. Appreciate it. Thanks for the stream. Have a good rest of your day. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day as well. Um, I will want to remind you guys that I will not have a Twitch live stream this weekend. Typically I stream on Sundays for Solo Sunday over on Twitch, but I am out all weekend or I'm away all weekend for a girls trip. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys have a great weekend. Hopefully you have a great rest of your week. And then next week, any of you that are joining for Level Up Retreat in Connecticut, it's next week already, which is insane. So if you're coming, I will see you guys there. I'm so freaking excited, so freaking nervous, but I'll be fine once I get there. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for joining. I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your day, friends. You too, Jenna. Thank you so much, Kim. I will see you guys a little bit later. Bye, friends.